Heat Seekers, we are back with the week two tight end rankings in tier format. We're not going to mess around. You're going to hit that like button. You're going to subscribe, and I'm going to get right into this content. Listen, Travis Kelsey is the tight end one until further notice. I understand the love for Mark Andrews, but he is too. And we could probably put Travis Kelsey in tier one by himself and then have everybody else below him. I've got him, Andrews, and Waller in tier one, but Travis Kelsey is the man. I'm sick of seeing rankings where he's not number one. What has changed? Why are we ranking people ahead of Travis Kelsey? I have no idea, but he is number one, Andrews two, Waller three. This is going to be very fluid after Travis Kelsey and then Mark Andrews is probably going to be solidified there at two. But right now, it's pretty clear. Travis Kelsey is just head and shoulders above. He's the man. Down in tier two, Dallas Goddard's at the top there for me. I had an okay week one. I expect, you know, those AJB targets after week one, I expect them to get spread out a little bit more. I don't expect him to get 13, 14 targets every week, obviously. But Dallas Goddard looks good. He's going to be scoring a lot of points for us on a week-to-week -week basis, I think. I love him at the top of this tier. Zach Ertz, going to get a lot of work. Hopefully he stays healthy and on the field. Kyle Pitts. It's just going to be interesting to see how that Atlanta offense works right now because it's not a Kyle Pitts problem. It's an Atlanta offense problem, I think. And week one wasn't great. I'm not moving him down a bunch because of week one, but we do need to see more consistency out of Kyle Pitts to get him back into tier one. We don't want just monster weeks and low weeks. We want weeks where it bridges that gap and makes it easier to stomach the output on a week-to-week -week basis. The usage we saw for Fryermuth in week one was huge. If he gets that usage, he's going to be a big time tight end for this season. The scoring output wasn't just amazing in week one, but the usage was really good. He moves up into tier two. I'm excited to see how that plays out in Pittsburgh. Moving to tier three, Schultz is only down here because we don't have Dak no more. We don't know what's going to happen to that offense. He's typically a tier two guy, but for now he's down in tier three and and I'm afraid we may see him drop even further as Cooper Rush progresses through the next six to eight weeks. Cole Komet, I'm not real worried about. The mess of a game in Chicago this past weekend contributed to him having no work. I expect that to change. They're going to throw more than 17 times a week. They're going to give up more than 10 points on defense and have to throw the ball more. So I think Cole Komet is still fine, and I am I want to put him in tier two. We got to see that production come from him, but it's going to be there, and I think week two is a good start. I love the usage out of Gerald Everett in Los Angeles for his first game with the Chargers. Got that touchdown. He could continue to move up as he progresses with Justin Herbert. Below him, Tyler Higby, a bunch of targets, but it didn't turn into a huge fantasy day, a good fantasy day. But if he's going to get monster usage, he's got to be up here and he'll have some of them big games. Down in tier four, a couple guys that I like a lot. Hayden Hurst getting some work. If Higgins is out, is he going to get more? I think he could end up being a guy that's in tier three over the next few weeks. And then Logan Thomas getting some work, but he's still getting his legs under him. I expect to continually see him move up these tiers and the rankings for tight ends from week to week. Just got to get them legs under him and get that connection with Carson Wentz, who loves the tight end. Down here in tier five, where was the usage we expected for guys like David Njoku and Irv Smith? It just wasn't there. Irv obviously has the injury, not 100%. So maybe we see that progress as the season goes along, but it was a little discouraging in week one. This tier right now, like Austin Hooper, I expect to be a huge part of this Tennessee offense. Is he going to move up? Kyle Phillips got that middle of the field work. I'm not comfortable with these guys right now, but some of them could end up bumping up into four or three as the season progresses. That's it for the tight end tier video. Nice and quick. If you would, please hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos, and hit the rankings playlist right here, and you can see the running backs, the wide receivers, and the quarterbacks for week two.